Hey guys, it's Ben, and in this video, I'll be showing some assembly footage of the Master Brilliant Puzzle, which I presented several weeks ago. Now, this is going to be time-lapsed quite a bit because, well, it's several hours long. So in the first part of assembling this puzzle, I'm sorting the pieces so that I know which ones I have, which ones may be missing. In this part, I'm doing the Mega Mix layer. Moving on, I'm now going to the Royal Pentultimate layer. Sorting the parts is really important because this puzzle has 685 parts, and if there are any missing, then it's really important to know. So, sorting helps with that, and also later on, when I'm assembling the puzzle, it'll be easier to locate pieces, so sorting helps in that aspect as well. Miraculously, none of the parts uh, were actually missing from the Shapeways order that I placed, so... 685 parts and none missing, that's pretty impressive, especially during the um, period of the price change that Shapeways was going through. So, I don't know how they did it, but there you go. Miracles do happen. Alright, now that these pieces are sorted, I'm now putting them in their separate bags for later on. Now finally, I'm moving to the fourth and final shell layer of the puzzle, which is the outer pyramid crystal layer and it's many of the pieces that you see on the outside of the puzzle when it's assembled. Because this puzzle has so many parts it was really important in ordering the puzzle to pack the parts in as few sets that needed to be ordered as possible. Because the puzzle has 685 parts like I mentioned um, the first time I tried packing them I was able to get it down to 10 sets of separate orders, which is quite a lot for a puzzle. But with the help of an Excel spreadsheet and messing around with some of the triangle counts, I was able to reduce that to eight sets, which isn't great, but it's better than nothing. And it did save some money and also some of Shapeway's labor as well, which was really helpful. And all the spares were also present as well. Now in this part right here, I'm sanding the pieces down using a Dremel wheel and a metal brush. And this will help the pieces interact better when I assemble the puzzle later and will also help with breaking in. Now it's time to start. So in this part, I'm assembling the core with all the screws and the 12 center pieces. This is the core um, of the puzzle, which is a Mega Mix. This puzzle has four total shells. It builds from a Mega Mix to a Pyramix Crystal, to a Royal Pentultimate, and then finally to the Master Brilliant. So, four shells and 685 parts, it's a crazy puzzle. Right here I'm putting in the pieces for the actual Mega Minx. It's pretty difficult to get the last piece in. And I tension the puzzle evenly and working in it just a little bit. Now moving on with the Pyramix Crystal edge pieces, which simply get inserted one layer above the Mega Mix. This is just the standard Pyramix Crystal mechanism that you see in the mass produced puzzle as well. Although because it has spherical grooves, it works a little bit better. So now that the Pyramix Crystal is assembled, it's time to start with the Royal Pent Ultimate. This was the longest step of the entire assembly and took several hours. Now you'll notice some parts in this uh, part of the assembly I'm be using some masking tape and this is to make it easier for me to assemble whole groups of parts without those groups uh, falling apart in my hands and it makes it a little bit easier. Some of the sections of the assembly are jump cut and that's because I didn't have enough uh, room to record everything in my camera, but I did get a lot of the uh, important stages. You can see in this section of the video that pretty much half the puzzle is assembled at this point. This was a very slow process and it just involved inserting, assembling it piece by piece. And in some cases I had to use some tweezers to carefully put pieces in the precarious areas. 
When the royal pentultimate layer is assembled, this will form the pyramix crystal edge groups on the outer puzzle. And these are the groups that then hold on to the corner groups. And that's how the puzzle works. this point we're coming pretty close to the end of the assembly of this shell. Now it's just the top pieces left over. And some more masking tape to put these final pieces in. And now the puzzle is assembled. And I did work it in a little bit, as you can see right here. And the puzzle is turning. It's only the deep layers at this point, though. But I, at this point in time, I went away and I broke it in a little bit more before continuing on. And now finally, here's the last layer where I'm assembling the master brilliant layer, the outer pyramid's crystal pieces. And you can see these pieces going into the corner gaps on the outer dodecahedral shape. This didn't take too long and it was pretty simple, straightforward. And right here the puzzle is finally assembled. As you can see it's the same puzzle that you saw in the video and it's turning. I did go and break it in a little bit more before continuing on and after I assembled the puzzle I went ahead and dyed it black assembled it one more time and then stickered the puzzle with all of your stickers and then it was finished so that's about it for this video I hope you enjoyed seeing how this puzzle was made um, a lot went into the work of making it so that's about it alright hope you like this video thanks for watching